Okay, so what we're going to go through today is it includes a live demo. Um, to start off with, though, I'm going to show you how what the end result looks like in Maximo. So we'll we'll look at the assets in Maximo, how the the model viewer works, and and some of the key data that comes along with the assets. And then once we look at that, we'll go back and actually open model stream and show you how the data uh, mapping gets set up and how the data flows back and forth. All right, so the Maximo environment that I have up here is a, a Maximo 7.6 environment. All of the later versions of Maximo are supported. And again, like I said, this, this data has already been synchronized with Maximo. So I'm looking at a, a relatively small subset of the data that was synchronized, but what I have up on my screen here are air handling units. So I'm going to open up one of these air handling units, and I want to point out a few things about the asset. The first thing is attachments. So on, on one of the previous slides, you may have noticed the support for attachments. And what this means is model stream will take either the file or URL links that are in your Revit model and load those into Maximo as attachments on the corresponding asset. So if I, if I select the attachments on here, I can see that there is a PDF that's linked to from this asset. This particular one is locally stored within Maximo. Um, but this could just as easily have been a URL that goes to manufacturer's website or a, a maintenance manual or, or what have you. So the second thing that I want to mention on the asset is the location hierarchy. So George had mentioned that model stream will create the location hierarchy. Um, it's, it's configurable. You, you can allow model stream to do that or you can use your, your existing locations that you already have defined in Maximo. If you allow model stream to create the location hierarchy, it creates something that looks somewhat similar to this. So I'll show you this once we open model stream, but in our sample model, we have a, a three level location hierarchy. We have a building, shown as MSB here. We have a floor, which is floor six, and then we have a room, this mechanical room. So Model Stream created these three levels of the location hierarchy in Maximo automatically. And it nested those in a configurable uh, location within the existing location hierarchy in Maximo. In this case, it's at the, the top level location, which is New York. So this in itself can save a fair amount of, of time and work to get those locations loaded into Maximo. Um, Model Stream does that as part of the export process. Okay, the next thing we'll look at are the Maximo asset specifications. So this is where the, uh, the specifications in Maximo is a, a listing of key value pairs. You will see once we launch Model Stream that most of these were mapped from Revit. So they were, they were exported from Revit and loaded into, into Maximo. Um, not all of them were. Um, you can see like there, there are certain ones here that we'll touch on later, like this work orders for the past six months. Um, this only exists in Maximo, and we'll see how things like this can be leveraged uh, through model stream to bring data back into Revit. Okay, the, the next item I want to show on the asset screen is the model viewer. So with model stream you get access to this rich uh, 3D model viewer that is embedded directly in Maximo. This is uh, WebGL format, so you don't need any browser plugin. Um, all the major browsers are supporting WebGL, so as long as you're using one of the, uh, the big three or four browsers, then this will work uh, just fine. So what this did is this loaded a, a WebGL uh, version of the Revit model, and 
after this viewer loaded, you may have noticed that it zoomed in and selected this particular air handler here. Because I'm viewing this within the context of this asset, asset number 2123, Maximo and the, the embedded viewer that we provide with model stream knows which element in the model that's associated with. So it selected that and in the left hand pane here we have a couple of tabs. We have the asset tab which this shows information from Maximo. So you can see the asset description and site location and so on. Those, these are our asset fields that are configurable, so you can choose which ones you want to display here. You can uh, add your own custom attributes if you have any custom fields defined in Maximo. And also at the bottom of this list are all of the Maximo specifications. So these are the same values that we saw on the specifications tab, but this is all provided here for a, a nice, convenient, simple way of viewing the relevant data for the asset. And you can do all that without leaving the context of, of the viewer being open on your screen. So along with the Maximo information, you also get properties that come along with the, the web version of the Revit model. So this is a quite a long list here. You can see there's there's a lot of values here. Some of these were loaded into Maximo. Um, you see some, some dates and some of the location parameters here, uh, the model information, MSI. These were loaded into Maximo, but some of the data was not. Um, the, uh, you know, the airflow total and the, um, the pipe size, for example, like these were not loaded into Maximo, but they are accessible through the properties provided in the model viewer. So the other thing you can do with the model viewer is not just view the asset that you have currently loaded in Maximo, but you can select other elements here. So if I select this element, for example, this is another air handler. In this case, this air handler is in Maximo. So here's the Maximo information for that asset, including all the, the specifications. And then if we go back to the element tab, we can see the Revit properties. And if you scroll through, here's, here's an equipment spec, for example. So if the model has a URL included in it, regardless of whether you loaded that URL into Maximo, it is available and accessible here. So when that URL gets displayed, it is clickable, and you can load that in your browser to bring up the, the manufacturer's website or the maintenance manual or what have you.